wait. Ten minutes till the race starts. Hey, Mom, I heard you. You see, the Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. He and his partner Ogden Morrow released the first Oasis build in 2025. It was an instant success, and it made them both very rich. But Morrow was out of the picture after a few years. And Halliday, he wasn't just the owner of the world's biggest company. He was like a god. People loved him. They worshipped him as much as his creation. Maybe we should stop talking about it and start uh, showing it. If you all want to reach under your seats, you'll find that there's nothing there. <laughs> but we're gonna, we're each gonna, we're gonna bring you on now. And then, on January seventh, two thousand forty, he died. And what he left behind changed everything. Hello, I'm James Halliday. If you're watching this, I'm dead. Before I died, I created what we in the biz call an Easter egg, a hidden object in a game that gives special powers to whoever discovers it. The first person to find the egg I've hidden somewhere inside the Oasis will inherit my stock in gregarious games, currently valued in excess of half a million dollars, uh, half a trillion dollars worth, and total control of the Oasis itself. In the form of my avatar, Anorak the All-Knowing, I created three keys. Three hidden challenges test for worthy traits, revealing three hidden keys to three magic gates. And those with the skill to survive these straits will reach the end where the prize awaits. Off you go, keys. The keys aren't just laying around under a rock somewhere. I suppose you could say they're invisible, hidden in a dark room that's at the center of a maze that's located somewhere up here. Let the hunt for Halliday's Easter egg begin.